Hey folks, thanks for joining us. Um, today we're gonna unbox this Lem meat grinder. Tim's already used it on the moose, right? But uh, stay with us, we're gonna unbox this bad boy and go through all the features and functions. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses. A podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. Hey, thanks for coming back to the channel here. Like I said earlier, we're going to go through this uh, unboxing of this Lem meat grinder. Uh, but Tim, I'm like super, super happy to be here for this episode. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done an episode and, uh, you know, we kind of have a moniker that we end our show on, you know, be safe, have fun, get outdoors. But, but Joel, why don't you tell us why we're so happy to be here? Yeah, so I'm super happy to be here because I was helping, uh, you know, no good deed goes unpunished, right? But, uh. Uh, just sharing it with our audience because um, it was a life lesson to me. Not that I didn't know it, but to go through it and uh, survive it um, was good. But anyway, helping uh, some neighbors cut down a tree and uh, on a ladder with an electric chainsaw, cutting a branch down, and the branch came and and uh, hit hit the ladder, hit the saw, hit me, and knocked me off the ladder, and I fell, you know, approximately 10 to 12 feet, whatever it was, and. Uh, landed on my back and couldn't get up and was in a lot of pain and, you know, ambulance and the whole deal. So, you know, scary situation going through it. And uh, the good news is that, uh, you know, it was much more minor than it, than it could have been. Could have been, it could have been deadly, honestly. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just thankful that, uh, like I said, I'm here able to do this podcast, that there's no permanent long-term damage and uh, so just a you know shout out to our audience here if you're using ladders you know make sure you're using them safely and then you definitely don't want to use them with cutting trees down and and heavy equipment up there and stuff like that it's it's just a it's just gonna happen it's just gonna happen it is you know and uh joel and i talked about this and we have both have had accidents on ladders using chainsaws and uh, mine was, uh, I don't want to say worse, but longer recovery time for sure. And uh, I will say, hey, it is definitely going to happen eventually if you're tooling around with above your head on a ladder with power tools. Um, when I, I had ended up uh, busting my leg, and I won't go into great detail, but with my orthopedist, he was actually at the, towards the end of our recovery. He said, he goes, hey, rule of thumb, don't get on a ladder. And he's going through his phone and he's showing me uh, all the all of his patients that were ladders. And he would go through the pictures and he goes, ladder, 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 ladder. <laughs> you know, so I think the rule of thumb is, is hey, if you're going to be on a ladder, be super careful. And that, that was... Uh... You know, the experience I had in the emergency room is every nurse that came in, any person that came in the room to support me, which they did a great job, but uh, all of them had some linkage to ladders or patients. And, and uh, so anyway, I'm uh, not going to get on a ladder again, hopefully. And if I do, it's certainly not going to be with a chainsaw or, or that kind of work and uh, uh, lesson, just sharing a lesson. That's right. Yeah. So today. Yeah. Let's get into this. Uh, let's get into this grinder, Timbo. All right, so uh, we're going to do an unboxing today of this Lem Big Bite number 12. It's a three-quarter horse, uh, three-quarter horse um, grind, meat grinder. Uh, I've wrote down a, a few notes on it. It's got a five-year warranty on it, which is super great. Uh, it's got lifetime customer service uh, on it that comes with it when you buy this, this, this grinder. And this is a Big Bite series. So this Big Bite series is uh, basically it's a change in design with regards to how they go about feeding the meat through the grinder. And it's also more of a, I don't want to say industrial, but more of a commercial grade grinder. So um, I looked at several different types of grinders out there. I had, um, I looked at the Cabela's. Cabela's makes a nice line about it. But the thing that kind of scared me a little bit about the Cabela's 
was was that hey you got to buy cabela parts they're not a manufacturer so as parts start to fade out uh, how difficult it's going to be to find parts right so that's probably what steered me the probably the most away from a cabela's uh, they are slightly cheaper not a lot but slightly cheaper lems probably makes it for them but they're specific parts to uh, cabela's and so i just decided hey i'm gonna stick with the manufacturer and uh if you go on their website, no matter their past models, they still have parts and you can always get those parts for those grinders. So, so a little bit about price. So I did a quick thing on price on here. Uh, price range is anywhere from 549 to 529. So Lem does a really good job of maintaining price point uh, out there for this grinder. Uh, the two places that were cheapest were Shields and Home Depot. So whether it be a Black Friday or Christmas specials, you probably could get a discount on those, whether it be a percentage off, etc. But uh, um, a little bit about that. So also, I during my research before buying this, I went out and looked at how are these reviewed? What was the reviews on them? So Home Depot, um, on their website, it was a 4.8 out of 5. But if you went out on Amazon, and I think they had something like 800 reviews. It was a five out of five. Wow. So that's pretty. That's hard to hard to believe, actually. Yeah. yeah. So I th I think that's pretty good. I think it's a testament to Lem. And uh, so I think uh, I think this is going to be a good grinder. Um, I prior to this, uh, let me just tell you a little bit about experience from past grinders before we do the unboxing. I had a. I currently have a Lem. 575 watt it's one of their smaller grinders um, we'll show that a little bit later and just show a little bit about the difference um, uh, my, my wife's family has a Hobart industrial I think it was a one or a three-quarter horse uh, grinder that that thing will chew through anything uh, it's pro probably a 220 Tim there's uh, just 110 huh? 110 oh wow okay but uh, you have to, and it's pretty old. It's certainly an industrial, but nothing came with it. I mean, it's the families. So, but it's a super great grinder. But uh, it's with my, my wife's family. So we needed to do something different. And uh, from our past episodes with the moose, um, I mean, we were already processing a lot of meat. You don't want to monkey around with anything. So hence, Lem number 12, Big Bite. The big bike grinder, <laughs> the big, the big bike grinder. So let's get into it. Uh, a couple of things that comes with all the parts are stainless steel. The gears are are uh, stainless steel. Um, no plastic parts associated to this, which is a big comparison difference compared to the other one. So uh, both of you and I came from food manufacturing, and stainless is stainless is where you want to be at. Yep. So let's get into it. So let's put a couple of things out here. On the chair, maybe? Yeah. yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's talk about a couple of things here. Yeah, let's start there. Let's start here. Uh, so first off, uh, comes the throat, right? So the nice thing about this throat is, is it's got a really big orifice. You can feed a lot of big sized pieces of meat in here. You don't have to worry about trimming it down. Um, I guess we're doing an unboxing and a review here. So uh, kind of take that for what it's worth. The other thing, and we'll take a zoom in on this a little later, but this whole throat is, th is threaded or fluted, if you will or maybe rifled and so when you're feeding this down that rifling is going to help your grinder a great deal the other thing they have this big bite technology and you start to see these flutes on the grinder and then you see there's a bigger distance here and that distance right here space is right going to be right underneath this throat where you're feeding that meat and what it does, it allows the catch that those big chunks of meat and it moves it right through there. 
So really slick uh, design here. The, I will say the one thing, the one thing that I would say, hey, I'm not in favor of, and I don't have a solution on how to fix it, to be honest with you, is right here, you see it's kind of got a little dead spot. And if I'm really putting through a lot of meat like I was from the moose, occasionally this thing will start to heat up uh, from just use and it will start to cook the meat. And I typically see that more when I'm grinding for burger because it's so it's already fine and, uh, and you're having to push it through. So that's typically when, when that happens right there. Uh, we'll talk more about this in a second. Comes with three stainless cutters, obviously coarse, fine for your hamburger, and then your sausage stuffing one. And these are all keyed, keyed right here on the bottom of your flute. So you put that in there and we'll assemble this here in a little bit. And then it comes with one cutter that's obviously stainless. Uh, stainless, it actually almost looks like it's chromed. I mean, it's this, this thing is so built so solid. It comes with a plunger, comes with three stuffing tubes, all fit together, so that's really nice. It also comes with uh, a pretty good sized tray. Um, and it's got a little uh, reinforcement, we'll show that here in a second. Uh, the nice thing about this is, again, it's stainless and it's got a big hole on it. We'll come back, let's pull out that grinder. Now, it's 33 pounds heavy. So it's pretty heavy. Uh, like I said, it's built to last. It's got a fairly long, probably a six foot long cord. But one of the nice things about this is when I go to put this in, it's gonna have something that's gonna rest on. So I'm gonna demonstrate that by starting to assemble this. So you've got a little receding mark right here to where you go and you kind of fit this in. And then you just tighten that right in. I guess this is another thing I should mention as we're assembling this, and you're gonna see how quickly I can get this thing assembled. It's not quite as fast, but pretty quick to clean this thing. I can clean this super fast compared to my other grinder, which will probably push. makes a big difference. Just bigger tubes and bigger area to, to clean, huh? Yeah, and then it's also the inside of this is adenized. So it's got a little uh, resistant coating on it. So, I mean, nothing really sticks to it. It's super slick. Nice. So we'll sit this, move this in, and all we're trying to do here is, is get it set into the uh, teeth. So the teeth there, you put in a, you put in your, uh, sorry about that. We have to put in our blade, or our cutter really. With the flat side out we'll put this in get it seated in with the and i'm doing it from the side so i'm not even i'm not even watching what i'm doing everything seems to have pretty precision fit i mean it's going together pretty easy yes nice super nice so then what we'll do is we'll put this here and you see it just fits super nice, right like that. So you can feed this in. You've, it comes with a plunger. Now I will tell you, I do not use the plunger probably at all when I'm feeding meat. Uh, it takes it away so quick, I've not ever had to use this. Now for hamburger, it's a different story. That makes a big difference compared to the smaller one and the one I've got, which I think is probably about the same size as yours there. It, uh, you're constantly having to push it. it. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing is, is uh, the throat on this is not super big. I mean, I, I have kind of small hands, but if you had any kind of length of fingers, you would not want to push that through with your fingers. That big bite technology would grab it and you're going to lose a finger. 
and that would be very painful. Uh, let's see, what else? Let's talk about attachments. There is just a whole host of attachments that come here. So with this one, one of the things that comes with it or that you can buy with it is a foot pedal. So you actually plug this in and you can, rather than use this switch over here, this power on off switch, what you're doing is, is you can use this foot pedal to turn it on and off. Now I would tell you when I'm grinding, I typically don't do that, but one of these attachments that's pretty slick is, uh, and I don't own it, but it's basically a long funnel for bagging ground burger or sausage if you wanted. So I could see where you're putting these bags on, on this sleeve or this throat, and you're pushing on that, and then as soon as that bag's full, you let up on your, you let up on your uh, foot pedal, put a piece of tape, tie it up, and then re-throat it, and then push your foot again. So I could see where that would add a lot of value for that. Nice. The other thing is, is uh, these sausage stuffing tubes. I could see where if you're stuffing sausage and it was all by yourself, these foot pedals would be very handy when you're putting the tubes on and you're stuffing and stuffing them out. So um, I'm probably going to buy one. Joel's laughing. I was just going to say, I could see an Amazon order for the foot pedal right now. <laughs> I'm not ready to purchase it yet, but I, I'm still going through the process of does it make sense? And probably what sells me isn't so much on the on the sausage stuffing it's the hamburger and uh i don't know if you guys have those vacuum packs but those vacuum pack bags are super expensive and that's what we've been using for burger but if i could put them in tubes and super tight uh i'd probably go that route yeah yeah what do you think yeah nice nice um it's it's a beast of a unit that's for sure and we've got we'll include some video on it we've got some video of you grinding grinding uh, i think it's herbert's dog food if i remember right um so we'll include some video on that and then we'll get some uh pictures of some of the parts here that we referenced earlier too for but, sure uh, yeah all right so we just took a quick little break to kind of pull out this this old uh grinder that i have or i shouldn't even say old but my first one let's just talk a couple of little differences so this one is a 570 watt it's a lamb number eight meat grinder it's probably one of their smallest meat grinders uh, it's got a one-year warranty on it i believe it's still the same does about two to three pounds per minute uh you know when you're thinking about for deer you know two to three pounds a minute that that seems like hey i can get through quite a bit but uh it it's two to three pounds is all it can handle and uh, when you start to do burger I think it's particularly challenged. So I think it's safe to say, I would, I would compare it to, it's better than cranking it by hand. Anything's better than that. Um, but it is a lot of work pushing the meat down in there. Um, and uh, I have one similar size, maybe a little bit in between these two, but I mean, even that's work yet, so. And you know, one of the things I forgot to mention on, on this, this big bite, is silver skin so if i have silver skin or maybe a, i didn't get all the tendons completely out uh which is not normally a case by the way uh usually when i was using this i'd have to make sure i get all that silver skin or when i would pull this apart i if i was grinding i would have to pull apart several times to keep continuing to clean off the the silver skin um, and you know when you grind up silver skin, it's gonna dissolve anyway when you're cooking hamburger or something. So obviously not desire on steaks, but for hamburger, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so let's talk about this. So it's just, again, it's a 575 watt, just to kind of show a little bit of the differences. Um, it still comes with a uh, plastic pusher, a little a little more solid. I actually bought that. Um, comes with one stuffing tube comes with a cutter but these cutters they're not stainless um, I think I believe I actually ended up buying this or it came with came with it comes with two two cutting blades and then a plastic stuffing stuffing blade 
it's all very nice in here. Uh, I believe this is going to my, uh, this is going to leave my residence and go to my, one of my kids. Uh, so let's just do a quick assembly. It probably makes sense. And then sure. we'll, we'll do it tear apart. So when you start to look at this, I mean, you can see it's just natural, probably brushed metal. We're going to go ahead and put that in there. It clicks. And as you look at this auger, it's got a replaceable plastic gear, uh, but nowhere near as durable, very small. Smaller diameter and uh, length. And but, we'll get some shots of comparing those two uh, augers too. So I'm not gonna put the cutter and blade in there. It's still the same. That goes on there just like that. And then you have this, no, nothing to support it. You just, but the orifice on it's probably, 50%? Yeah, half, yeah. 50% of this one. So um, so with that, let's also look at the augers one more time as a comparison. So you look at the difference of those augers. I mean, it's A, the, the flights. The flights are completely different. Uh, and it's a much difference in diameter. Plus the material, I mean, just a, a much better machine. Again, this is the smallest model that they make. This is nowhere near the biggest model. They make a, a number 32, which is a pound and a half, or excuse me, a one and a half horsepower. They do a 22, which is another one horsepower. They do have these, these uh, nuance, looks like a new model where they actually do a dual grind at the same time. Uh, they do that at the one horsepower and at the half horsepower. So those are all in the big bite in a big bite type uh, series. Um, let's see what else. Well, I was also talking about some attachments. So we talked about the stuffer. We talked about the step stool. They also have a tenderizer and jerky cutter that you can put right on here, which is interesting. Yeah. And then they also have uh, a juice attachment that, that will go with it. So um, we'll post their we'll post their website so you can click on that. We we aren't a sponsor by Lem, so I'll just put all this out here. It's very quiet. Um, in my book, this thing's built for a lifetime. So I don't believe I'll ever need one. Uh, like you said, it's nice, and you've tested it, right? You did. All your grind on your moose yep and, and one deer and one deer so super easy yeah okay any big watch outs or I mean it's, it sounds super positive which fits the ratings I guess but uh, from your perspective any any highlights the only I mean I mentioned it earlier it's just the the safety just the safety don't put your fingers in here to push down use your use your pusher yeah other than that this thing's awesome tank yeah it's great you know what's what's better than owning a grinder is having a friend that owns a, a really grinder. nice grinder yep that's uh that's like a boat right it is but uh, no that's good good to know <laughs> good to know all right so any other questions no i i mean i mean it's nine day again we'll add some pictures comparing and con contrasting these two uh, two models but it's it's like night and day difference um and I know it worked well on the grind when we did that episode on the dog food. So, yeah, no questions. Good. All right. Well, then. Until next time. Yeah. Be, be safe, safe. Have, have fun, fun. And, and get, get outdoors. outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.